Misaki Ogura was a seven-year-old girl who went missing from a campsite in the mountainous region of Yamanashi Prefecture in Japan, in 2019. After more than a year since her disappearance, authorities have yet to find any significant clues about Misaki. Born to Musashi and Tomoko Ogura on May 8, 2012, Misaki Ogura was a shy yet friendly little girl, who loved animals and spending time outdoors. Misaki lived with her parents and her older sister in the city of Narita, in Chiba Prefecture, Japan. She was a first grader who had just recently started elementary school. Although she was a shy kid, Misaki loved the outdoors. She was particularly interested in taking part in her school sports day, which was scheduled to take place around the time of her disappearance. Misaki had proudly told her mother that she'd definitely get first place in the relay race. But she was just as excited for her upcoming camping trip as she was about her school sports day. On September 21, 2019, Misaki along with her mother and sister, went along with a group of seven families for a weekend camping trip to the Tsubakuso campground in the village of Doshi, which was in the Yamanashi prefecture of Japan. It is a three-hour drive from their hometown of Chiba to Doshi. Home to many of the highest mountains in Japan, including the iconic Mount Fuji, the Yamanashi mountain range is known to have some of the most beautiful camping grounds in Japan. Misaki's mother, Tomoko, chaperoned her kids to the campsite and was planning on staying overnight with her kids. Misaki's father, Masashi, could not make it to the trip on that day due to his work but had planned on arriving there the next day. On the afternoon of September 21, the kids at the camp were eager to finish lunch so that they could run off to play. Misaki, being a slow eater, finished her lunch, and caught up with the group of kids a few minutes later. At around 3.40 p.m., Tomoko watched Misaki run after the children around the corner. And that was the last time she ever saw her daughter. Around 4 p.m., some of the parents went to find their children so they could sit together for the campfire later in the evening. Tomoko decided to go find her daughters too but much to her dismay, she could not find Misaki anywhere near the campgrounds. After searching the area for over an hour, Tomoko finally called the police to report Misaki as missing. A total of about 1,700 police officers, firefighters and self-defense force troops were mobilized for the search efforts, which covered areas within 15 kilometers east and west of the campsite and 7 to 8 kilometers to the north and south. Searchers used tracker dogs and a drone equipped with a sensor capable of detecting body heat. A stream runs through the woods down the mountain but a search downstream proved fruitless. Searchers even cut down tall grass in an effort to find the girl. Police also checked nearby farmhouses and empty huts, but no trace of Misaki was found. After 16 days of searching without any progress being made, authorities finally called off the search efforts. Since the day of her disappearance, Misaki's parents spent each night in a tent at the campsite in the event that their daughter returned. They kept a light on inside their tent throughout the night, as they anxiously waited for clues to Misaki's whereabouts. Tomoko began relentlessly posting on social media about her missing daughter. She created a website dedicated to finding Misaki. She appeared on numerous TV interviews speaking about Misaki's disappearance, and even started handing out missing person flyers in the area that Misaki went missing. Yamanashi police have so far received about 2,000 reports of related information, but there were no promising leads. The police continue to gather information on her whereabouts, and stated that they will resume the search operation if new leads arise. In the aftermath of Misaki's disappearance, Tomoko began actively posting on social media to help spread information about her daughter, and hopefully find some helpful information. Before the incident, Tomoko had 480 Instagram followers. By January of 2020, some three months after her being thrust into the public eye, her follower count had increased to 16,000. She said that there were times when she would receive close to 10,000 comments a day. And although she was glad that Misaki's case was getting more attention, the newfound fame came with its own drawbacks. When Tomoko and her family appealed online for people with relevant information to come forward, the initiative backfired, as they started receiving hate comments. The trigger for this negative response had been a seemingly innocuous action. 
After reports of her daughter's disappearance surfaced, Tomoko began taking to her Instagram page to respond to the many questions she received from friends and others. One of Tomoko's responses to a comment was, We will find her soon, please pray for us. But to her shock, the comments from some users had turned aggressive. Apparently, the fact that Tomoko seemed so active on social media while her daughter was missing, came across as thoughtless and unnecessary to some people. And this resulted in a barrage of baseless accusations and vile comments from uninhibited users online. Photos of Tomoko's family, her parents' address, and her home phone number were exposed by online hackers. In the middle of the night she would receive frequent calls, in which the caller on the other end would say nothing, and photos taken outside her home appeared on the internet too. In October, Tomoko wrote on Instagram, I have another daughter. As a parent, I must protect her too. Tomoko finally turned off comments to her posts on Instagram, when users began accusing her of trying to use her situation to gain online fame. She stated that she doesn't use social media because she wants people to support her, but because she doesn't want people to forget about Misaki. However, since she started getting violent threats, she decided to pull the plug on her online campaigning. But her troubles did not end there, as Tomoko and her family received a very dangerous threat from a Facebook user. Katsuji Seitsu, a construction worker from Shizuoka, reportedly posted multiple times on Facebook between October 22 and November 19, 2019, where he had made clear threats to Tomoko. In one of his posts, Seitsu told Tomoko that he knows she's the culprit, and if she doesn't hurry up and turn herself in, he would kill her. Seitsu was later arrested by the Chiba Prefectural Police for his threats. Tomoko said that in addition to feeling distressed since Misaki's disappearance, she was scared of Seitsu's threats. She also said she had been slandered by others on the internet and did not feel safe. Since Misaki's disappearance became public knowledge, many theories have surfaced online about what might have happened to her. These are the three most plausible theories. The first being that Misaki was abducted from the camp that day. With such a large gathering of people who did not know each other, it would be easy for a stranger to slip in and out. Misaki lagging behind the other children presented a perfect opportunity for someone to lure her off, and since she did not know all the adults in the group, she likely would have assumed a stranger was part of their outing. The remote location also meant there would have been little in the way of surveillance footage to track an unknown vehicle. The second theory is that Misaki's parents were somehow involved in the disappearance. Since Tomoko was the one to have last seen Misaki, some people suspect that she or her husband killed Misaki, and disposed of the body. There's even speculation that Misaki was never at the camp at all, since no participants in the camp have taken to social media to confirm the events as reported. Some people have even gone as far as to say that it was suspicious of Tomoko to have cut and colored her hair for the TV interviews. This theory is not based on actual evidence. For one, the police interviewed the other members of the camp. If no one had seen Misaki at all, that information would have come out. And Misaki's 10-year-old sister would have definitely mentioned if something unusual had taken place. As for the claims that Tomoko's change in appearance for the TV interviews is suspicious, they are just thought to be ramblings of misogynistic online users. The only thing that is peculiar about this theory, is that Misaki's father was absent from all TV and newspaper interviews. It seems strange that he wouldn't be with his wife, searching for his daughter, but it might not mean anything other than that he had mixed up priorities. Many online users speculate that he was hiding his identity to avoid trouble at work, as being associated with such a widely covered incident would draw unwanted attention. The third theory is that Misaki lost her way in the woods and succumbed to the elements. This is probably the most likely scenario. Even with the extensive searches made by authorities, the woods in the mountainous region of the Yamanashi prefecture are vast, and it is certainly possible that searchers just could not cover all of it. Misaki was not the first person to go missing in the woods in Yamanashi, and the fact that there was even a case of an adult person who went missing during the search for Misaki, lends a lot of weight to this theory. Still, one can't help but think something would have been found by now. Additionally, the time between her last known sighting and her disappearance is less than half an hour. How far could she have wandered off in that time? Tomoko and Masashi Ogura are hopeful that they will one day find her daughter alive and well. 
Misaki was approximately 125 centimeters tall and was wearing a black long-sleeved shirt and blue jeans at the time of her disappearance. She has dark brown eyes and black hair, and a distinctive mole above her upper lip. If you have any thoughts or information you'd like to share about Misaki Ogura's case, leave a comment below. Thank you for watching and we hope you found our video interesting. Like, comment and subscribe for more fascinating unsolved mysteries.